Next is Miss New Zealand, Lisa de Montauk. She's 21 years of age. She enjoys bungee jumping, whitewater rafting, parasailing. You are a thrill seeker. I am a thrill seeker. Let me turn you just this way slightly, if I may. We'll get a better look at you. Uh, why do you like dangerous things? Because I think life is short enough as it is. Um, why worry about what's around the next corner? Just take a dive and do it. Have does some your, fun. Does your family worry about you? My mother, she refuses to come along and watch these events, so, yeah. Uh, someone told me during the course of the week you were raised next to a cliff, or a, a, did you live near a... No, no, I did the bungee jump off a 150-foot cliff. It's um, a ramp that went off the cliff, and I just fell off it. You had no hesitation about doing this? You can't. If you hesitate, you won't do it. <laughs> I know. I wouldn't do it to begin with. Um, when you return home, you're going to go into music of some sort? Um, I love the whole aspect of the entertainment business. I'd like to get into TV as well as sing a little bit, as I do already. So, yeah, the whole package deal. You're going to form a band? I'd like to, yes. Men and women? A female, female band. All females? Yeah. Much good luck. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. This is Miss New Zealand. If you'd step over here. Thank you very much. That completes our first interviews. I'm very impressed. What about that Miss New Zealand, huh? All right, let's continue now with our interviews and meet the remaining five semifinalists. This is Miss USA, Shannon Marketic, who's 21 years of age, a scholarship student, and written a couple of books, planned to attend a law school. That's a pretty interesting background. You were raised on a ranch, though. Yes, sir, I was. Where? In Wickenburg, Arizona. A uh, cattle ranch? Cattle ranch, 8,000. Did you help with the chores? Well, I helped round up cattle, yes. Are you a good horsewoman? I mean, would you, would you like to live on a ranch or a farm the rest of your life? The rest of my life, uh, that's kind of pushing it, but I'd like to have a place in the country so that I can have my kids appreciate the value of um, raising animals and caring with them. Now, you're going to study law. If you graduate and get your degree, what would you do? Uh, well, I'd like to be a def child defense attorney and um, defend abused children in Los Angeles and work for the state and do that. I think I'd be most efficient that way. What do you think is the biggest problem young people face in, uh, specifically in the United States or around the world? Um, a lot of kids don't have the support of a strong family, and I think that that's something that leads to substance abuse and um, further disorders like that. So I think that's at the root of most of our problems in America and probably around the world. Good luck to you. Thank you very much. If you'd step over there for the judges, Miss USA. Next is Miss Colombia, Paula Turbe Gomez. And Paula, I promised you I would pronounce your name correctly. It's Turbay. 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 Well, I had it right the first time. I shouldn't have tried. In English and Spanish, it's Turbay. All right, you'll see. You're a third-year university student majoring in psychology. Do you want your translator or are you comfortable? No, right now I'm comfortable. You'll come if we need you. All right. Uh, you're majoring in psychology. Uh, what do you hope to do with your uh, career? Well, my mother and I have a school for children with learning disabilities, so I decided to study psychology so I could continue with my mother's work. Uh, your mother has the school. Your father is a, has a Ph.D. One of your uncles was a government official. With all of your family's accomplishments, does this worry you or inspire you? It inspires me because, um, well, people in my family have tried to do their best, they've worked a lot. So that inspires me to do my best and to kind of be the head of my family, be somebody important for, and make them feel proud of me. What will be the first thing you will do when you go home to Colombia? I guess the first thing I will do is tell my Colombian people how proud I am to be in the top ten and representing my beautiful country, Colombia. Thank you very much, Miss Colombia. If you'd step over here for the judges. Next is Miss Namibia, Michelle McLean, who's 19 years of age, an international model. Namibia is in Africa, of course. What's it like growing up there? How many people are there there? There's 1.4 million people in a country that Switzerland could fit into 20 times. So it's quite a large space. What do you like most about living there? The cleanliness, unpolluted countryside, and plenty, plenty of space. We have so much beautiful countryside that we can travel around in. Um, not many towns, in fact only one capital city and about 17 towns. Is it unusual for you to come to a place like Thailand where there are millions of people so close together? Yes it is, it's very different for me. 
When you were 14 years of age, you went off, let us see what it says here, to Madrid to model. Were you worried about that? Yes, at first I was, but I think after a while you get quite used to being around a lot of people. And um, you get acquainted with the bustle of everyday life and the chaotic streets and shops. You look like you can take very good care of yourself. Please, if you will, step over here for the judges. This is Miss Namibia. Next is Miss Venezuela, Carolina Isak. And Carolina, would you like your interpreter? No? All right, today? All right. She's a university student studying to be an environmental architect. What is an environmental architect? Well, um, an environmental architect is uh, an architect that creates spaces, pleasant spaces for humans, but spaces in which you integrate nature inside. You feel nature, you feel maybe the rain, or why not the flowers, the colors of the flowers inside in the sun of your house? Do you have to be uh, artistic to do this? Of course. <laughs> what other things uh, do you do to help the environment uh, other than study and work on it? Well, I've been working with uh, environmental groups in my country, and uh, when I go back, I will start preparing, um, um, oh, I missed the word. Well, um... That's not to worry. You are doing so well. I'm amazed you are worried about the... Have you studied English a long time? Well, I studied um, in a bilingual school when I was little, so that's why I know speak English. One quick thing. Light side. What do you do to relax? I just put my hands together, I close my eyes, and I think and I go away into nature. Much good luck to you. Thank you so much. Miss Venezuela, if you'd step over here for the judges. Miss Venezuela? Ah. Uh -huh. Thank you. Next is Miss Belgium, Anka van der Meersch. She is 19 years of age. She speaks five languages, enjoys parasailing and bungee jumping. When you're not jumping off bridges, what do you do? I study law. You in... study law? Yes, in Antwerp. Is it difficult? Uh, no, it's not that difficult if you're very interested, and that's what I am, so. If you get your degree in law, will that be your career or something else? Uh, my big dream is to became, become movie star, but if I get my degree in law, I'd like to work in the international law, because Belgium is now the center of the European community, and I'd like to work in the government of the European community. This is probably a silly question. What do you think is more difficult, being a movie star or a lawyer? Um, I think a lawyer, because I like more to be movie star, and if you like something, it's easier to do. <laughs> All right, fair enough. How would you describe yourself in one or two words? Um, two words, determined and confident. Thank you very much. If you will, please step over here. This is Miss Belgium. <laughs> and that completes the interview competition for Miss Universe 1992. They were absolutely great. I know you want to see how the judges scored this competition. So let's check it out for you. Miss Colombia is out in front, followed by Miss Venezuela. Very close for third place with Miss Namibia. High scores for the girls. They did very well in the interviews. The contestants have now completed two-thirds of the semifinal competition. Soon you will see the other third as the girls compete in evening gowns. Right now the contestants, while they change into their dance dresses for a fabulous musical number, we thought you'd like to join them in exploring the sights and sounds of Bangkok. The first word to learn in Thai is Sanuk, which means fun. Second word to learn is shopping, so let's start spending some of that pretty Thai money. Our delegates headed straight for the Mall Shopping Center in downtown Bangkok. There they picked up, oh, you know, a few baubles, bangles and beads. Thailand's famous floating market is like a mall on water. You can bet our delegates tried their hand at a little local bargaining. There was a quiet moment to pay respects at the shrine of Prapatam, one of Thailand's 32,000 temples. Back at their home away from home, the Dusatani Hotel, the contestants got a close look at artists creating some of Thailand's beautiful handicrafts. Some of our ladies even tried creating a few masterpieces of their own. Elephant rides are a highlight at the Rose Garden. 
There, our contestants were treated to a show of traditional Thai music, dance, and ceremonies. The girls even joined in. Great manicure. Watch your step. This was like a mini parade of nations, complete with every country's flag. Then the girls changed into Catalina sportswear, which is almost as lively as Thailand's famous spicy food. Ogilvy hosted a seminar on hot oil treatments with Pode, one of Thailand's leading hairstylists. Well, let's face it, everybody loves a beauty tip. By then, the ladies had learned the most important words in Thai, Kapkun Ka, thank you.